Righty ho, welcome back, folks. I'm the Samurai. This is the third part of the uh, Far Harbor Fallout 4 DLC stream. Uh, we were having some technical difficulties, so I've given it a restart, and hopefully, we will be a bit better off. Thank you for that link, Dimebot. Uh, Dimebot has just posted the link to the station Discord as well. Um, so, everybody who wants to go and chat, feel free to jump on there. Right here, as we load back in, we started going through as... Right here, so cracking back onto what we were up to, uh, we were checking out the, um, as per the viewer's request, we were checking out the Dank Dark Murder Mystery Hotel. That sounds fun. So let's go and check it out. Although part of me is quite interesting. Um, I, I saw a video from IGN and I want to go and see if I can find what they were fighting the other day. Um, but we'll probably do that on another stream. Right. So we were clearing the ghouls out of the hotel and there's apparently a vault here. So. Right here. Okay, and apologies if um, it is a little bit boring telling Nick to pick up all the stuff. Unfortunately, once he's laid them down, that's the the quickest and easiest way to get all the shit. Sorry about that, there, folks. No, it's a little boring. But oh shit! Where did you come from? ago? Commonwealth needs me, yes. Right, okay, so I'm guessing we go down here. The ghouls all know I'm here, there's no point in sneaking about my life. That's another again. thing we're actually going to be doing um, on stream. Um, I'm going to probably every two weeks or so. We're actually going to be looking at um, Fallout 4 mods, and yeah, we're going to do it on the uh, Xbox version or of mods because it gives us a little bit more. Um, they've probably been tested a little bit better and work a little bit better. Um, Oh shit. <laughs> Sorry, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but 
Oh, can you hear that elevator music in the background? Yeah. That's, that's, creepy as shit. that's really creepy. I hate it when the elevator goes off like one or two floors, so it doesn't know what it's doing. It's <laughs> oh, fuck! Don't even break a sweat. Not that it's an option. <laughs> did, did he just make a joke about that? It is. That's even creepier. This is kind of looking. A little bit. Nice big wide open staircase. All the better to school you with, my dear. Oh, another bump door wig for um, Preston, yeah. He looks so good in the bump door wigs. Someone drop their money. Yoink. Dead. Yep, already dead. This place is pretty creepy. So. Right, d let's turn this shit off. Yeah, trying to be human again. Um, crap. I can't give anything more to Nick either. I need I to run. Drop something, get it on my head. I was full of a cabinet near the doorway with all the shit I took off and then just took it off the window, as I leave. Yeah. Did you just put that on? No. You did put it on. Shit, I did as well. <laughs> Can we see it? No. I picked up a lot more I than I thought I did. Now I'm going to give it to Nick. Yo, psst, grab that. I'm listening. Yeah, I, I will. I, I'll grab it. It's amazing how quickly you pick shit up, isn't it? Yeah. I do quite like that. Right. Hmm. God, this hotel was a bit shit. None of the elevators worked. The doors were all out. Yeah. Okay. Up here? Have you received a, um, a mission or anything to this door's place? Yeah. Uh, basically, um, just before... Uh, you joined us, um, and Miss Nanny came down and said, There's been a murder! You need to go through the doorway to launch it. You're outside of where she wishes to go. Oh, you mean a murder? There's been a murder. Um, basically, so, uh, yeah. The Miss Nanny said, um, Oh, yes, we can't talk about it very much because we don't want it in the tabloids. I think I went the wrong way. <laughs> Would have been brilliant if Nick pushed you off the edge then. Yep. Mm. Wouldn't put it past him. Something dastardly about that Nick. Right, sorry folks, just gonna offload some stuff to Nick.
Because what's the point in the companion if you don't make him carry everything? You're so gross. I'm joking, guys. I'm joking. <laughs> She's really not. I've not a hair coat. Grab anything useful. Done and done. Take anything good. Good plan. Well, the next. Right, okay, so we went down there. Um, I'm guessing we did go the wrong way then. Right, maybe we should have gone down. down that stairway. instead of up. There's loads of vaults in the floor, I'm guessing you need to go down. Yeah. Probably good you cleared all the rules out there. So that's what the guy was, the trapper was talking about in his note, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. He's probably found a way to talk to him. Do, 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 do. Right, okay, so we went up. So let's check down. Actually, screw it. Let's uh, sleep. Damn it. Come on. Come on. Damn it. Go away. I'm sneaking. See, you're so clever. I know. This is a damn survival bitch. <laughs> Fuck it. Okay, kill them all. Now you got a nice problem. Yeah. That was a terrible shot. It really was a shit shot, wasn't it? really was as well, I'm so sorry. Use your goddamn bats, that's what it's there for. They're all coming up here now anyway, how did I miss all of them? Here they come. <laughs> I see why you have a spray and pray now. Yeah, screw it, should we use the spray and pray? Wouldn't want it going to waste well, now, would we? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I blew his arms off. Oh shit. There you go, Nick. Get him quick. What the? The stranger. Thanks, Snowman. He just gave the finger to my laptop. See? Your, arm, your arms are both the same pack and your bats will increase. Talking truth. She's a bit salty, guys. Yeah, you did get me killed about four times the other night by advising me. Yep. Pat's never just waved at you. Ah. <laughs> I know we've got to go down, but let's go down those stairs. I've probably already been there, but I'm wondering where the, how those walls got up.
yes, making it daytime. Ah, oh, sleeping for more than three hours in a sleeping bag. <laughs> there we go. Quick auto save as well. They successfully defended. Well done, Somerville Place. Which is strange considering I haven't put any defences in there. I'm so glad you didn't, you didn't go straight to that one. Oh yeah. The trap there might be down here. This has got a weird, weird Bioshock feel to it. It does a bit, doesn't it? That's another game where they, they see it all futuristic but 1950s style. Oh. I can't really decide, I can't sort of time, like place Bioshock in it. Yeah. <laughs> if necessary, complimentary meal from the Skyview restaurant can be authorised by the supervisor. Okay, shall we check in? Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> Upon arrival, all bags and other luggage should be collected from Premier visitors and their every request catered to. Well, that, wow, Premier that, is wow. gone off in the future. It really does, doesn't it? Assuming they have reservations made in advance, check into the suite. La 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 la. After entering the vault. Oh, okay. Well, so the vault's basically a giant hotel as well. Wow. Right. <laughs> Whenever I see that sort of nonsense, I always read it as pop 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 pop. Okay, your observatory. We already know that one. The day spa. Oh. Let's go to the spa. Vim Pop Factory. Oh. I do like that Vim Park is the Iron Brew. It really is. Premier visitors equal Shelby, apparently. Yep, that'd be about right. It's a shame that I never got to come over here for his true believers. He would have stayed at a Premier Inn. He really would. And then he'd know what we were talking about. Right, okay, so now I'm back where I was. So how did I miss all those ghouls? Okay. Oh yeah, I came in this way, didn't I? Yeah, go down. Right, so... Oh, got another bowl hat. Right. To be fair though, I have a feeling that if Shelby ever got to stay in a hotel, she'd be she'd make sure she was the only person in that hotel. I know yep. I would. So you'd have all the staff waiting on you. It's the whole make sure every whim is... Ev yeah. It's the whole make sure every whim is catered to. That that leaves a lot to the imagination. Oh shit. Is that a hint? Oh no, wait, you're a dick. It was one of those meals where it was like tiny plate and then you had sorbet between meals. I remember my little sister was really pleased because um, she thought she was getting a little bit of a <laughs> Sorbet is a jib. Right, so. Well, my grandma said it was to cleanse the palate. I think she wanted her granddaughters to have class. Bless her, did she fail? <laughs> right, okay, so. Go down! Okay, I'm going, I'm going! Press button. Oh, I really hope that was working, though, so there was no sign on it. Is there not like a, sh a elevator shaft you can just jump down? Nope. Oh, duffel. Where the hell are you meant to go? I don't understand. I'm a little bit confused. I'm guessing Henry left traps, otherwise he'd be shouting at you right now. Go that way, go that way. Right, I'm guessing that is the way, because um, that's where it's telling me to go. Weird. Okay, you're gonna have to find a hole in the floor or something. You hmm. Can't. I mean, that area looks flooded, there's nothing below. Oh, oh shit. <gasps> I didn't mean that. Stick your landing. Stick your landing! Sneaky <laughs> <laughs> left just holding up signs. Is there no other way in? Like, through like the service entrance or whatever. Do they still have those? <laughs> <laughs> you mean the service entrance? Oh, is that what it's called? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's called service entrance. <laughs> right, let's, 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 let's Right, a 
that's definitely the lift door that I have to go through. Is it the actual lift door though? Well. Or is it just like that's the right direction you want to be going in? Well, it's pointing me there, and I'm at zero. Yeah, it's definitely. There you go. I'm pointing right towards it. That's where I need to be going. What's five, Sona? Uh, right. You score for jumping out the window. The detective's life isn't an easy one. But it rarely okay. lacks for excitement. Okay, you can't go on. You can't go down there, so you better not dwell on it. Keep going. Um, try the watery area. I'm wondering if it's been flooded and you can swim down. You don't need to hide. Just swim. I know. But okay, so that's nothing new. What about now? Okay, that's new. Have you tried um, all the doors? Yep. There are a couple behind you. Let's have another look, see if there's anything we missed. Because it's definitely pointing to that elevator shaft, so... Yeah, but it's in the same way where if you're um, inside, outside, where you're past it, it points to the nearest doorway. What about that lift? That's not a lift, is it? It's a storeroom. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a jib. Lunchbox! Lunchbox! No, you're supposed to open it! I did try and open it. So Someone says check the map. Try and do the local map thing. Hmm, that's a good idea. Very rarely use the local map, actually. No, not me. That is not helpful. That's really not. Nice idea, though, Snowman. Loan. Uh. Loan. Wow. Anyway. Okay, so that was a door that you clearly missed. So let's go go back around that side because you I think you've missed this wing. Yes, let's. Have you checked the computers? I checked the only one that was still together. What about the one on your right? Behind you. Left. That one? Yeah. So where one. where I went originally. Okay. Have you checked all the doors to that? Yep. There's a door behind you. Yep. The, the, the first storeroom I went into. Okay. Okay. Why don't you check the outside of the building? See if there's another door in. Looking for the servant's entrance. <laughs> I honestly thought that was where it was for. <laughs> I was full. I was wondering why they had such a derogatory term for the door. Right, okay, so we've been all the way around. So I walked all the way back up the other way to get in. Okay, anyone who's got any tips? Anyone at all? Because we're stuck. I'm getting closer to it so I can look at it. There you go. There it is. That's customer destination. You just said that. <sighs> right. Okay. What are we actually doing? Right, let's meet Pearl. She'll probably actually show me in. 
Oh, don't tell me she's outside Far Harbour. Fuck's sake. Oh well, at least we've cleaned it out. Well, I think Henry's disappeared anyway. He hasn't been chatting for a while. Yeah, he probably did when we finished off the first half of the stream. Right. Let's quickly unload Nick again. I'll laugh my ass off if she actually comes in with a key for the elevator. Yeah, pretty much. That's what I'm thinking now. You seem annoyed. Are you annoyed? A little bit, but I've, I, I left her all the way back at the bloody town. She makes me follow her all the way there again. <gasps> oh, God. At least you've got fast travel. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest though, like, damn, if you've ever played Skyrim, you know full well Bethesda has that effect on you. It's like, right, I'll just do this 30 minutes later. Where am I? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I was only there to buy some caps. <laughs> Fuck. To buy some food. <sighs> what are you doing there? You should be in... Oh. Never mind. Hey, do something for you? Yes, give me all your stuff. If I got it. No, no, no. <laughs> give me Wow. Why is he there? He should be in the town. Yep. My mum once, uh, when uh, Rob was about 10 or 11, she bought him a top and she didn't understand that it was dirty because it said poker in the sports locker in the rear. <gasps> so she ended up giving it to Joe, the older brother. Oh dear. That's so funny. I wonder how, how Joe's doing actually, because his um, missus, ex missus, I don't know what the wrong or off, uh, like, nearly killed my older brother. Mm. My family is so ready for Jeremy Kyle, guys. Or Jerry Springer, if you're American. I would probably get my tits out for these. Did you do that on Jerry Springer? Yes, but not on our stream. Right, anyway, let's drop all this stuff off, go and speak to um, Pearl and see what she actually wants me to do. Oh, now I know what I'm supposed to be doing. Right, okay, that's all dropped off. Oh look, there she is! Detective, shall we head to the hotel so you may begin your work? Yeah, let's go. Let's be off then. Ah! <laughs> I do have to follow. Now nah, I've got to actually follow. Yeah, she's going to wait for me as well. Aggravating. It's like following Longfellow up to Arcadia. He's going to stop every two Looks minutes. Looks like it isn't just the police who have been lax lately. The Idlands building inspector ought to be fired. <laughs> okay, she's got some sass to her. In before everything at the hotel respawns. Yeah, probably dying. Should've just got my power armor, shouldn't I?
At least we, uh, because we've cleared everything out, at least it's nice and quick getting up here. Oh, I hope she just opens the, uh, the elevator. Yeah, probably. No, in my luck. I wish we still had the staff to keep up this area of the hotel. It's in quite a state of disrepair. I should warn you, some of the other hotel guests are a bit, um, rowdy. I was forced to defend myself when a few became a bit handsy, shall we say. The registered patrons are in a more exclusive area of the hotel, though, and do not associate with this sort of rabble. Shall we be off? Uh, yeah, let's go. Very yeah. good. This way. I do like that new armor. seem to be out of order on this level. We'll have to take the long way around. Which is... what I've already cleared out. Right, gotcha. Okay, walkie, walkie, walkie. All oh, right, yes. Yeah, now she speeds up. Come on, hurry up. I suppose you wouldn't notice how slow she's going because usually we'd be killing the ghouls. She is going to take us all the way, the long way round, isn't she? Well, she must know something you don't, because she's going to take you into the vault. We able to do earlier. Yeah. Wonder where the long way goes though, because didn't we check everything? How's the stream looking, everybody? Uh, Dime, is it looking okay now? for antiques, huh? <laughs> yes, Nick. Yes, I do. So I found the elevators. They were right at the end where we were. Well done, Nick. Made it in before the door closed.
and towels. No stealing from the hotel. I'm stealing from the hotel. Don't care what she says. Who still pillows? Uh, I no, just did. The towels and all the, re the um, cosmetics which I need to put. That's the really weird thing. You're like Chromie. Why do you why do you pick a gnome as your human form? Nobody, nobody suspects the little person. <laughs> I'm gonna get stabbed. <laughs> right. No one suspects the little person. Nope, no one oh, does. Oh, you're cute! You can't even make the speech to the top shelf. Yeah, that's stab you in the toes, bitch. <laughs> Headbutt you in the nuts. Right. Oh, Chromie looks so good in Heroes of the Storm. Ooh, fuses. Ooh, because I need copper. Right, okay, so, now that we're fleecing everything in the hotel... Uh, yeah, let's get some cleaner as well. Wow. Right. I wonder if people will still be in here, or if this will be full of ghouls. Well, she seems to think they're different like, from the rowdy bunch, so well, well, there's a very good chance that they're either... Well, just got a little uh, more interesting. Or they're Welcome ghouls to that are not very... Welcome to Vault your home away from home, it's underground. Mr. It is a Mr. Handy. Are you the detective we sent for? Oh my god, It's me, bots. Pearl. I've returned with the investigator. Let me just get the door for you. That would be interesting. But that would mean as well that one of the Mr. Handys has gone rogue and killed someone. Well, there's a murder mystery, isn't it? Well, actually. Yeah, maybe. Well, it's about time the police sent someone out to investigate. I'm a little bit we have many important residents and they are very worried. I'm here now. We'll get to the bottom of this. I cannot tell you what a relief it is, Detective. I've learned the moods of our patrons well enough to tell you the tensions are high. Hmm. Interesting. Is that the crime scene again? Sounds like trouble. Don't they realize that they're going to disturb the evidence? You'd better come with me, Detective. I shall return to my workstation and allow you to take things from here. Oh shit. <laughs> Damn it, I stole a useless spot. Oh, oh no! Fuck. Do you remember where you went? Because you could probably just meet her there. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Screw it. I don't know. That's what I'm going to try and do. Have a shot. Oh shit. Okay, maybe not then. Yep. Yep, I'm going to. Ah, oh, idiot. Can't believe I did that. I did that. <sighs> Idiot. This is why I said get the loot on the way out. Well, this has been an eventful and stupid stream. I think I might just delete this one when it goes up on YouTube. <laughs> <sighs> Shit. Well, you know where to go now. Just run ahead of her. Yeah. Shit, that's how far back you are. No, wait, doesn't it auto save when you fast travel? No. Auto saves when you sleep, which I might do actually when I'm running through and use that. Um, it auto saves when you exit your pit boy and go through a door. After ten minutes or so. And then 
I'm guessing you were nine minutes fifty nine <laughs> away. Like, hey, loan, save the game. Yeah, thanks, <laughs> snowman. I thought I had. See, I told you, words of encouragement. Our viewers are kind. That. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is what? That. That's a, a an assaultron. All upgraded. Is that the Predator version? No, Alien. Definitely Alien version. Well, it's got a skull for a face, so yeah, more Predator. That is terrifying. There you go. Holy shit. You can make Ada look like that. Not yet, I can't. I haven't unlocked those. She's still going to pink. <laughs> <laughs> Right, let's drop all this crap off again. Hey, if I got it. I have deja vu. I have deja vu. Lots of those old pre-war relics still lying about. Do you have deja vu? I have deja vu. <laughs> Screw you guys. <laughs> Screw you guys and do this, yeah. <sighs> Practice made perfect. Yes, that's all it was. I was just practicing. I do love how people go off their shit, like in Bethesda games, because you steal one folder. Yep. That isn't actually, there's worth like one cat. Or, uh, kill the chicken in the village, and yep. everyone is out for your blood. Yep. Got a chill in my bones that won't come out. Why are you the here? You should be back in the sleeping in the fog. Leave him alone. He's drinking Detective. coffee. Again. Shall we head to the hotel <laughs> so you may begin your work? Yeah, let's go. Let's be off then. Let's be off. No accent's not that bad. It's not like Tracer bad. The thing is, I'm gonna proper eat my hat if it turns out Tracer is going to wear across the top of me. <laughs> Doing them much good at this point. I missed that body before. Nick, grab that. Hey, I'm listening. See if he had anything worth taking. Count on it. I love having Ada with me because she encourages the fact that I fall. Yeah. I just don't get on screen. She's like, we should take everything we can carry. And the more. Come on, then, guys, hurry up. I think you just dropped three viewers because you had to do that again. <laughs> I'm not quite with it because I can't play Overwatch today. I'm still a little bit narky because I can't play Overwatch. <laughs> oh, come on, you stupid bots. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what that reminds me of? Me mum when you're a toddler. And you're like, I want to run ahead, I want to run ahead. And you're on the reins and she's like, no, you must wait. No, you must wait. <laughs> so that's yeah. what I was doing! <laughs> I was never put on range because my parents were hoping I'd get hit by a car. Well, the ten years ago they got there. Sorry. <laughs> 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 Don't worry, I'm still here. I get it. That is not what they you said to them as well. <laughs> Yeah, you go and get your Jerry Springer it's like beads. When, it's like when Dime was saying that Treacle is thicker. I was like, no, you're thicker. <laughs> Dime is thicker than Treacle, yes. Confirmed. I don't know, I'll have to wait till next time Sheldon cuts him and find out. <laughs> <laughs> I made a proper grunt today. Give it an hour or so, she'll cut him at some point. It's probably I haven't seen best for a while. Hasn't seen seen the state of the hotel. <laughs> he would be devastated. I should warn you, some of the other yes. I was forced the register pain to oh. give me off. What do you mean the other patrons are rowdy? I had not been in this part of the hotel for some time. Perhaps there is some sort of sporting event that has them agitated. Several of them tried to grab me and well, their clothing was
was certainly not suitable for polite company. Shall we be off? Yeah, let's go. Very good. <laughs> I like I like your character's voice over there and it's like, well, they weren't properly dressed and they attacked later. <laughs> and, and she was like, shall we go? And you were like, yeah, let's just go. <laughs> Trapped. The elevators seem to be out of order on this level. We'll have to take the long way around. Yep. Well, the Miss Nannies are, and the Mr. Handies and Miss Nannies are British, aren't they? She is absolutely based on her own family. Well, it's not usually gentlemen. The way they were dressed is grasper to the lady like that. Maybe some sort of sporting event? The football, perhaps? Men say women are emotional, and then when their team loses, they cry like bitches. Yep. I wouldn't know. Why is your team never lost? I don't watch football. I know, that's why I love you. Save! That's I will point. save! Save before you steal something! I will save! Bloody robots. Wow, that is really fucking annoying. Give her a kick up the arse. Oh, she'll attack you, won't she? Yep. I think I'll make her wait for me. You tell her. Where's she gone? Mind keeping an eye out for a sec? I, you gotta run a diagnostic. Whew. <laughs> Thanks. What they miss? Something like code for instant leak. She's above you. Oh, she's already run off. What the hell? I told you. I'm not using it though. She ain't waiting for you. She really isn't. I only took a nap. Thanks, snowman. Why words of wisdom? Fuck encouragement. I just don't want to see it. The same thing again. Deja vu. -vu. No, it would be deja deja vu. Yep. You got a thing for Andy. again, again, <laughs> again, again. Let's leave all of the nice comfy pillows this time, shall we? How about you save now? This elevator leads to the exclusive area of the hotel. You should Oh my god, you're still not learning. You're like, let's leave all the comfy pillows, but imitate that lamb. <laughs> <laughs> or was it a vase? Got the lamp. <laughs> <laughs> I love lamp. <laughs> I love lamp. I feel quite privileged that they will be allowing you in. Sorry, Nick. Bye, Nick. I went all the way back to the top of the boat house and turned around only to find that she wasn't coming. <laughs> I had to go all the way back to get her. She stood outside the boat door like, it's going to be coming. Oh, that elevator music. I love it when you look at the you know, symbol thing and it's just going mental. Oh, oh, yeah. We're on floor, what the fuck? Right, don't steal anything. No. to speak to Maxwell. Go ahead and activate the control panel there. I like how you're having a pit boy makes you, um, how does she put it? Hey, Zoust. Hello, Zia. Welcome Greetings. to the best dream. Welcome to Vault 118. Yes, we've heard you before. You're home away from home, underground. Oh, I can't skip. Are you the detective we sent for? Yes, yes I am. Say no. It's me, Pearl. 
I've returned with the investigator. Let me just get the door for you. Thank you, Maxwell. Well, well. Stop taking shit. <laughs> Me on the head. Stop stealing stuff. I'm here now. We'll get to the bottom of this. I cannot tell you what a relief it is, Detective. I've learned the moods of our patrons well enough to tell you the tensions are high. Go ahead, Detective. That at the crime scene again. Sounds like trouble. Don't they realize that they're going to disturb the evidence? You'd better come with me, Detective. I shall return to my workstation and allow you to take I think it was, yeah. Righty ho. So, which way did we go? But all this loot. Leave it until you're friendly with but, me. But, but, but loot. Oh, it's protect. Ah, uh, yeah. They are all Oh, wow. Oh, my God. It was Colonel Patrick running the ballroom. What room the hell is wrong with you? Excuse me. Ezra, you have outdone yourself. <gasps> this is your finest world. There is more. They, they really are all bots. Oh, God. That one's... Santiago Abita. Have you no respect? I'm just saying that at least he had the decency to make a spectacle of it. Are robots. Not robots, detective. Well, not exactly, anyway. <laughs> I believe the term they use is robo brain. Back before the war, the residents decided the best way to wait it out was to put their brains inside robotic chassis. Was there anything else? Um, I'm not sure where I should start. I yeah. suppose you should try to figure out how he died, and then who had the means and motive to kill him. Once you have enough evidence, then I suppose you'll need to confront the killer. Was there anything else? You get to be murder, she wrote. Yeah, yes. Excellent. Tell me about the victim. Mr. Ezra Parker was the primary owner and financier for the hotel. He had vast experience managing <laughs> venture projects around the world. It was his well, idea dragon, to dragon have our premier the clients with the become investors yep. in the vault section of the hotel. He worked with Vault Tech to have this built to their every specification. Was there anything else? Never mind. I'll be here should you need me. Hmm. Right, so. There's been a murder. Looks like the brain enclosure was smashed. Is this blood? Protect and serve. Protect and serve. Yeah. It's a good start. Now just keep running and we'll call it even. What? 
are you doing? Are you the one the concierge? Nope. Is everyone in the dining room the concierge? Hello, Mr. Whiskers. Hello, Mr. Whiskers. Who's a pretty goodie? What the fuck? Hello, Detective. Did you need something? Yes, why the fuck did you just murder that guy? Did you have any thoughts about the murder? Oh, well, that's not really my field of expertise, but I'm sure there are probably some clues. Oh, they killed him before he came around to say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr. Whiskers. 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 Hello, Mr. Whiskers.
You're quite the actress. What can I say? It just comes naturally. Care to hear some of my stories, detective? I'm so glad I've got Max Charisma. Keep playing, keep playing. Have you ever done radio? Your voice is quite enchanting. Your face well, darling, well. play your cards right, and maybe I'll whisper some sweet it's nothings in your ears. Ears. Surely you must be here for my salacious stories of the silver screen. I must say, I've known flesh and blood girls who aren't half the woman you are. Keep it up, Tiger. I'll find out if you can handle how much woman I am. Care to hear some of my stories, detective? Why don't we grab a bottle of wine and go watch the sunset? Mmm, sounds good, detective. Uh... Oh shit, I am actually- I am actually going on a date. Oh shit. <laughs> oh my god, this is fucking amazing. Did I- What did, did I just sleep with the robot? Catch you later, tiger. Um... <laughs> you got so, you got so excited. You burp. Well done. You're so beautiful. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my god! If you can reach that. Now. Oh, I just did. Hello, detective. How can I help? Oh god. Did you have questions about the case? I think you made the old lady very happy. Did you have any thoughts about the murder? It's obviously Santiago. He now. keeps going back to look at the crime scene. <laughs> I found your baseball bat at the crime scene. Care to explain how it got there? Someone is clearly trying to frame me for the murder. It's probably Santiago. You saw him skulking around the crime scene. What were you and Gilda talking about when I walked yeah. in? Olive, how are you? How oh, you screwed her we were just rehearsing a scene. Screwdriver and Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Maybe later. Okay. Just let me know how I can help. I mean, darling, your brain looks so squishy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just can't even... What the... I like how his eyes like, I'm flipping the table and I'm leaving the internet. <laughs> Wow, I, I can't believe oh I just. I think that would be enough as well for Dime to give this game another try. See if you can sex another one. I'm, I'm gonna try. <laughs> well, 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 well. Oh. It isn't the long arm of the law. Hey, it's, you know, it's the long it's arm of the law. Does that cruel muse call you to her entrapping bosom? Uh, Art is life. <laughs> Without it, we are no different than animals. Perhaps, if all we are <laughs> is sentients floating in a suit of flesh, or metal, I suppose, then art is the only true communion with the world. Come with me. This questline is worth this entire DLC. I'm Seriously encouraging him to be a madball, and I was like, well, I've got my toys, why can't you have yours? What does this piece say to you? <laughs> it's a mess! <laughs> it's about composition, <laughs> the balance of colours and emotions, and the struggle to maintain internal order. Indeed. This was the last piece I did in a series of portraits of Gilda. In all fairness, all the shite about promo art is... The emotional landscape is superimposed on the portrait. The reality of the subject is distorted as the ego attempts to project itself. This way. Ha! Ha! Yeah, it's her chastity plate. Tell me, what does this one say to you? Trees in spruce! Like trees in, in space. Maybe it's about the struggle to maintain <laughs> life adrift. Shall we try to knock yourself out? Intriguing. A post cynical <laughs> futurist <laughs> interpretation. All meaning is contained in the struggle for life to continue. We must ascend. Wow. I think the dragon just noped this. <laughs> 
Oh god, I'm actually crying. Oh dear. Kitty! Just oh god, I've got the, the choice of it's cute or this is bullshit. Ew. It's cute, I guess. Some people <laughs> like that kind of thing. This is licking on a rocket! Truth be told, this is my best selling piece. I did this here as a suited one, of course. This series has made more money than any of my serious works. So you'll sleep very well, but you don't make the observation that it's on What does that tell you about the value of art to the common man? Huh? Did you get that, then? Yeah, no, I got it. <laughs> My fellow connoisseur of the art, here to see my latest work. <laughs> Tell me about yourself. <laughs> I think you should explain why you keep returning to the crime scene. It's for inspiration to do. <laughs> the others do not like to think about it, but even we shall die someday. <laughs> like Prometheus's torch, it kindles within me the fire to create as much art as I can. With the time that I have. And you have four paintings from all that. Yep. That's my paintings of Gilda! It sounds right. like you've done a lot of paintings of Gilda. Why her? Our Gilda is a very singular creature, detective. Do you not see this joie de vivre from within her? I have never met another who clings to life so tenaciously. Who lives so in the moment. I must admit I was Tell quite smitten with her for a time. See how he reacts. Tell, tell him you're in love with her. You're them. still in love with Gilda, aren't you? So what if I am? What business oh is it of yours? Brilliant. She deserves someone who truly understands her ephemeral oh beauty. Oh my god, he said it to a soap opera. <laughs> tell him you slept with her. Uh, oh, I, you can't. Uh, that's... Do uh, you I, have any thoughts about the murder? The person you should be looking at is Juliana Riggs. That Philistine would not know art from her own excrement. She and Ezra had a rather dramatic fight recently. You could hear her banshee screeches all the way across the hotel. What? Wow. What were Juliana and Ezra <laughs> arguing about? I don't know. I was painting at the time and I was trying yeah, to block it out. Sure so I bet Gildo probably heard them. <laughs> maybe you should check with her. Uh, maybe later. Okay. <laughs> Dime says, "Tell me, that's a good examination." New possibilities. I, I, I what? I, <sighs> they call me the mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> I, um. Darling, I will knock your screws loose. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! This is your fault. I, I, I just can't even. Oh god, there really is a beach. Stories about my acting you think career. Anyone actually don't like they were I like how Bob's had just following you around like this is normal. Yeah, me neither. Yeah. Hey, sure. sure. All right. Did you know that I was supposed to star in Love Set Sail? The only reason that bitch Vera got the part is because her <laughs> uncle was the producer. Did you need something else? Apparently, Juliana had a big argument with Ezra a few days before he died. Did you happen to overhear any of the conversation? Oh, oh, yes. I haven't seen a woman go off like that since Teresa Dubois fired her costume designer. But to get back to your question, it was Fever Pitch Detective. She had apparently gone to the overseer's office to check on the state of things and found it in horrible disrepair. But, and this is where it gets interesting, it sounded like she found something that really set her off. Couldn't hear what, though. Did you need something else? Yes, he needs his screws tightening. <laughs> I found Keith's baseball bat at the scene of the murder. Any thoughts on how it got there? I don't know, detective. I can't really imagine Keith killing Ezra. Did you need something else? No, no, but, but oh, yeah. I've gotten the impression you've had an affair with Santiago. Look, I love Keith, I do. But sometimes he just can't give me the attention I need. Girl gets lonely, detective. It only lasted a few dozen years. The man's a bit much, even for me. Did you <laughs> need something else? Wow. What were you and Keith talking about when I came in? 
know that. We were rehearsing. <laughs> Gotta stay sharp before going to rebuild Hollywood. But yes, yes, she does. When he's upset. Did you need something else? I. I'm here to meet Maybe later. I'll be around. Wow. Languishing from your inattention. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe they actually do have a beach down here. That's actually really cool. I think that woman is my sex I think that is my when it comes to sex It's fresh water as well, as you saw. Yeah, it's for urine about. <coughs> right. And then that was there before. I uh... oh oh oh, uh, Sir Cattington. What, is that? Oh, that's all the kitties. Wait, there's only one kitty. Hello, detective. Did you have a question about the heinous murder? Uh, tell me about yourself. I'm Juliana Riggs, heiress to the Riggs fortune and wife of Bert Riggs. I'm not sure what else you expected, detective. Okay, fair enough. I wish to remove your. I heard you had a big fight with Ezra a few days ago. Care to explain? Oh, well, it wasn't that big a deal, really. He wanted more money to pay for repairs on the hotel. I wasn't feeling well that day and lashed out a bit at the poor man. I really should have listened to him more. Yep. I think they missed it. What's with all the junk in here? These are our things. We're just waiting till the war blows over so we can bring them back to the mansion. Ooh, she's got a mansion. Find out where. Mm-hmm. Did you have any thoughts about the murder? If you ask me, it's one of those actors. Or that horrible painter. Their type is always the cause of violence. I like how how Valentine is just like Maybe okay later. Fact, just Good luck robot, catching the murder, detective. Like Anybody else notice the fact that she's got a ga um a mask on, yeah. Yeah. Isn't she the doctor? I think she might have been, yeah. No, she'd have been the she's the office doctor. She's one of those posh covers that Oh. You sleeping in a bed now? Yep. So what will Gilda think? <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, so I spoke to her. I swear to God, if you spoke spoke to, to him. Her guys, I will I will find that What are they doing? What's the concierge doing? Don't know. This is this place is just a mess. This like place is God. yeah, it really is. Someone bring a camera down on me. There you go, Dime. You know what to do. How? Did you even do that? Do you have a screwdriver in your inventory? I, I'm guessing so. The Valentine's just there, like, yeah, this. I've seen the ship totally. Yeah, it's me. That you, you can do this in this game, but then people are pissed about um, Tracer's fun. Yeah. Right, okay, so that's that. Uh, who haven't we spoken to yet? Uh, there was someone you hadn't spoken to, whoever was fighting with whoever. Oh, actually, shall we not do Maybe that? Maybe Maxwell has the key. Yeah. It's not red, you can unlock it without getting penalties. Yeah, I can, can't I? Yeah, it's not fast as breaking in. But let, let's be on the safe side. Yes, I used a bobby pin. Yeah. And my screw, uh, the screwdriver from my lockpick. Oh, well, there we go then. Overseer looks dead. Very, very dead. Look on the pooter. I'm going to. 
They might be wrong for one. Uh, 118 was designed to test the social interactions between the working class and uh, ultra wealthy when under confined conditions. Working in conjunction with staff, blah blah blah. Additional subjects shall be admitted in local population. Blah blah blah. blah. Right. Uh, okay, so that's the that's the point of this social experiment. Yeah. It wasn't actually porn. Porn was just a thing uh, that happened. Prior to activation, it's an elite hotel. Nah, fair enough. Then. Ultra elite, the te uh, subject group, not. Uh, da -da 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 -da. So basically, they spoiled the rich, and yep. then the working class had to kind of carry on with what they were doing, and they wanted to see how they reacted. Yep. There we go. Uh, okay, so literally a couple of members of staff. Right, fair enough. I want to hear the overseer's log going, oh my god, the robo brains are having sex. Make it. He and his wife have convinced the other members of Group A that, with the international situation becoming tense once again, the best chance to outlast the war is to have their brains inserted into robots. And they're doing this voluntarily. Wow. It's that nuts. Is, it's absolutely <laughs> insane. <laughs> um, yeah, it totally just. seems to be more intrigued than appalled. Wow. That's it all, doesn't it? Uh, activation notice went live despite the second wing still being incomplete. However, when I attempted to trigger the recruitment protocol for test group B, the system informed me that I'd been locked out. Hmm. So, what was the test? Hey, so, one of the ultra rich decided to uh, lock the overseer in. Wow. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So, they turned the tables. The hunter has become the Instead of testing the social interactions between the locals and the groups of rich assholes, it's just me trapped in here with them. They're going to live forever, and I'll have to deal with them for the rest of my life. Oh, that's horrible. Um, you can play as holotape. Yeah. Progress on construction of the second wing of the vault is completely stalled. Once the premier area of the vault had been completed, funding seems to have been cut off. My supervisors have informed me that they haven't received payment from Mr. Parker, and vault won't pay out of pocket to continue construction. I've repeatedly approached Ezra about the finances, but he keeps telling me that Mrs. Riggs hasn't transferred the funds. However, when I asked her, Juliana said that she had just given Ezra extra for the gold pane in the rooms. I've hired an investigator to look for signs of embezzlement in a few weeks. Okay. Interesting. Invest Juliana knows more than she lets Sounds on. Sounds like Ezra was embezzling from his investors. Why, why, why did the overseer die bent over his desk like that? I think he might have shot himself. Are you, are you sure? Because that's a very suggestive pose. really is. Yeah, it doesn't look like he shot himself. I um, think this vault is all about sex. Yeah, there's definitely something like that going on. Well, you should know, you slag. <laughs> Actually, what time is it? There we go. Let's, let's get a full night's sleep before I kill them all. Why are you going to kill them? Are you are you being a black widow right now? I think I might have to be, don't you? No. Now my screwdriver has touched hot robot brain. <laughs> <laughs> There's bound to be something like that Once on the you internet. Go bot, you never go back. Yeah. But you can take everything from the overseer's office. That's useful to know. Right, okay, so... Um, oh my god, you have so many quest markers open. Is that all from this one? Yeah, that's all from this. Right, so let's check out Juliana Riggs again, then. I bet you do, you slag. <laughs> Hello, detective. Did you need something? Yes, I want permission to... Have you noticed Juliana acting strangely lately? Oh, well, uh, I'm probably just being paranoid, but uh, 
she's been so much more pleasant lately. I mean, it's been nice, but also a little bit unnerving. <laughs> <laughs> I really understand uh, us. Uh, no, but I always appreciated how she can just take charge of a situation. It's he is definitely a bottom. Lovely yeah. to focus on my research. I, I'm worried something has happened to her. She doesn't seem like the same person. Oh, was there something else, Detective? What do you mean Juliana's not the same person? My wife has always been a very harsh woman, Detective. I don't know who it is in our rooms, but that is not my wife, Detective. Oh, was there something else, Detective? Oh. I heard that Juliana and Ezra had an argument a few days before he was found dead. Tell me about that. Well, I was in my lab at the time, so I didn't, didn't hear it. But Juliana has always been rather critical of Mr. Parker. I think she found something in the overseer's office. Uh, I wasn't listening when she told me about it. I, I kind of had my head in my research. I don't know, really. I try to let her handle all the money stuff. Oh, was there so Doing in the overseer's office then. Reading computer. Yeah. Never mind. Very well. I'll just get back to my work then. Because if he was, if he has money, she's all for rent. She's going to be able to work. Yeah. Yes, she, she is. She's in a cow bag or like that. Don't sleep with her. She's a cow bag. Yes. She needs to build it because she's a hoe, but she knows it. And she's got work. I don't think it's Keith McKinney, do you? I think it might be Juliana. The way things are going. Juliana in the main atrium with the baseball bat. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not know it was that? <laughs> Hello? Anyone here? If you walk in on your room, I'm going to have a sex. Ooh, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. After you pick the lock. No. Bloody typical. Wait, whose room is this? Why? Why do you want to know, CC Shaggy? No, because whoever's room this is, they have the overseer's key. Well, it's probably Juliana's. Yeah, probably. She has a lot of swords and stuff, and uh, a pool table you can, uh, you know, run around. Read the plaque. Read the plaque. The shovel was used to break ground on the Cardoza Medical Research Center in Venezuela. The funding and management of the construction was overseen by Mr. Ezra Parker. So you're in oh, Ezra's it's, it's room. It's Ezra's room. Gotcha. Right, I see. Wow, that's a creepy looking mannequin. Just go back to the face on the mannequin. Pygmy skulls? From the Abadabadoo Ab tribe. Look at that. Look at that face. Wow. I've seen some shit. He really has. He's in the air. Right, okay. So. No, go read the other plaques. Okay, sorry. I'm interested now. Pygmy skulls from the Abadabadoo tribe. It really does say Abadabadoo tribe. Abadubo. Okay. <laughs> Presents to Mr. Ezra Parker and thanks for saving the tribe from a man eating tiger while on safari. Ha 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 Crystal Canter. Ooh. Dame Petra Horrorbrass and her engagement party. She died Ooh. in the tragic car accident a month before she, she and Mr. P wow. That's who Juliana's become. Ooh. I don't know how Ooh. or why, but, but conjecture. The engraved pocket watch was awarded to Mr. Parker by modern industrialist in 2075 when he was selected for the list of top 10 up and coming venture capital managers. I want to know where this arsehole has put plaques in his own room to remind him of what he's got. Presented the assassination of Viscount Sergei Urbanas by driving between him diving. and the shooter. Wow. Diving, yes, yeah, sorry. The silver locket kept in the breast pocket deflected the bullet and saved his life. Wow. Wow, Ezra's a badass. He really was. Right. Those books don't say anything. No, oh, okay, they're just books. Yep. Ooh, 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 ooh. <coughs> go, go speak to people then. Yep. I gotta find this out. <coughs> Righty ho, so. Welcome to the Vault 118 gift shop. Forgot a personal item at home. Let's see what you got. Let me know if you find something you like. 
Well, pal, you're not a robo brain, but I think I can make an exception. The dapper gent reduces damage from robots by 15%. You might want to buy that just in case. I think I might be able to upgrade that. Oh, at 5400. Maybe not. <laughs> yeah. I will come back for it, though. What was that request for detective? Oh, yeah, that was what she was sent out. Yeah. About. What's she got? Let's see if she's got any. <laughs> she's got shipments. <laughs> Every fucker's got concrete now. They really do. Anyway, go, go, go speak to us maybe you know. I will. Something's going on. There really is, isn't there? He's not, is he? I wonder what's in here. Oh, this will be the working class part of the vault. Yes. Ah. Ah. Oh, it's the garage. Wow. you down and murder you. There you go, Dime. You've been told. I do not want Game of Thrones spoilers. I've heard that Hodor dies. I think it has something to do with the door, but I don't want to know. I wait until the series finishes and then I can binge watch it. Anyone that tries to ruin that for me, I will cut you. There you go, Dime. Okay, now go speak to Juliana. Uh, okay. Shall I go and speak to Juliana now, then? Watch that shit series. Wow. Okay, you me 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 me. Keep your me 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 to yourself. Right, so. Uh, who's which way? Right, that's oh, the way. It is 10 to 12. Right, we're going to finish this off, guys, and then we're going to call it quits for tonight's streams. Hello, detective. Did you have a question about the heinous murder? I found some evidence that embezzling from you and the other investors. Oh, well, I really don't believe that. Mr. Well, Parker wouldn't exactly do such a thing, I'm sure. I think you're the real murderer. <laughs> well, that's just silly, detective. Why would I want to kill Mr. Parker? Ezra was embezzling your money. That's why you killed him and framed Keith. You were so close, detective. It's a shame. I thought I could keep the ruse going a little longer. Oh, well, to end eventually, I suppose. This doesn't have to end in more violence, detective. Just walk away. I'll leave, and you can tell them I escaped. Wait, so Ezra is Juliana? Wait, what? Juliana's dead. Why did you kill Juliana? I hadn't planned on it, but Juliana figured out what I was doing and had to be dealt with swiftly. I thought I could get a bit more money out of this place before making my escape. What's it going to be, detective? Join me in getting rich, or die defending some outdated ideals. Wait, 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 wait. So he called Juliana, and then framed the body to look like someone else? He, he put the accoutrements from himself onto her body, and put her face mask on to look like her, and then took her voice. So the body in the thing isn't Ezra Parker, it's Juliana? It's Juliana Riggs, yeah. This is really oh, messed up. Where will brains be fucked up? Do we want to cut or shall we let him go? You should have gathered them all in the dining hall first. So what do we what do we do, folks? Do we let him go or do we take a cut? No, kill the bitch. Valentine won't like it if we uh, if we take a cut though. I think Valentine won't like it if you try to even let him go. I don't think we've got a choice. There is no other option. Not a chance. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. What do you think, guys? Kill. Okay. Kill right. kill. Not a chance. Your murder spree stops here. Then let us end this. I like how it's still just Juliana.
An IV bag. <laughs> Suppose someone should make use of it. Valentine liked that. Oh, well, fair enough. I right. didn't defend Oberon, though. So I didn't, no. Okay, go speak to... Who was it, Maxwell? I believe it was. Yep. The Handy. There we go. So that's actually Juliana down on the floor with her child. Yep. I found the killer. It was Ezra. He killed Juliana and took her place to hide his tracks. My word! I never thought Mr. Parker was capable of something like this. What happened when you confronted him? He attacked me, but it's over now. Your residents are safe. There you are, detective. Payment for your services and a bonus for uncovering such a heinous plot. I don't think we could have done it without you. Ooh. Oh, okay. He paid you in pre-war money. He did. Yeah, there you go. Right, okay, folks. Um... I'm going to call it quits there for uh, for tonight. We'll carry on. <laughs> that, was, that was amazing. Um, we'll be back next week for more of Far Harbor. And next week I won't screw up quite as much as I did tonight. So thanks for joining us. Thank you to Scarlet Dragon for co-hosting. Can I have uh, food now? Yes, you can have food now. Okay. Uh, thank you to Dimebot for looking after the chat. And uh, if I don't see you before, well, I'll probably see you in about half an hour on Dimebot's stream. Uh, head over to Dimebot's channel now and uh, more than likely he'll be streaming. Um, yeah, so there we go. Remember to come and join us on Discord as well. I will be back tomorrow, if not before, for my radio show. 9pm till midnight GMT, 4pm till 7 Eastern Standard Time. And before that, of course, uh, Predicted Cyborg is going to be playing Spunk and Moxie, a new indie title. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, she's on from 6pm GMT, 1pm Eastern Standard Time. So catch you on Twitch tomorrow for Predicted Cyborg show. Okay, go sleep with Gilder again. Okay, we're going to go and sleep with Gilda now. Okay, yes, we're going to finish it off by sleeping with Gilda. We're going to go. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Take thanks it easy. Thanks for streaming tonight. Oh, he's not streaming tonight. Oh, in that case then. Right, well, thanks to everybody who tuned in. Uh, take it easy, guys girls. Have a good time. We'll see you tomorrow for Predicted Cyborg Stream and my show afterwards. Come and join us in the Discord chat, and we'll see you later.